Hi everyone, I'm Fern. I'm a project manager in the transformation team um, and I've been asked to talk to you about um, a project that I've been working on for a little over um, a year and a half now um, with one of our um, BI consultancy um, team members, Adam Cook. Um, and the project is called the Better Housing, Better Health um, Evaluation Project. Um, so this is something we're delivering for the Oxfordshire County Council public health team. Um, so we don't currently deliver a lot of work um, with public health teams. This is quite um, quite a sort of innovative um, area, I suppose. Um, and what we've been asked to do is essentially um, do an evaluation of a public health intervention that they've been commissioning to try and um, reduce fuel, fuel poverty in Oxfordshire. Um, we know housing is a significant um, wider determinant of health um, and we know that kind of improved housing can really impact on health. So Oxfordshire County Council are really keen to understand whether this intervention has actually um, improved the health of the people um, who've been using it. So I'll talk to you a little bit about the intervention itself. So it's essentially the expansion of an existing service. So the existing service is like a telephone service um, whereby clients who are in Oxford, what well, people who are in Oxfordshire um, who are struggling with heating their homes um, can call up or be referred to this service. And essentially someone over the phone, um, a home energy advisor will provide them with advice, um, referrals to other services um, and you know financial support like grants um, or fuel vouchers. Um, so provide kind of a range of support over the phone. But the bit where evaluating is essentially an expanded offer of this. So rather than just offering um, this advice over the phone, um, the Better Housing, Better Health Plus service um, is piloting actually the home energy advice is going into people's homes and actually supporting them um, in their homes. Um, and essentially the team want to know whether this is making a difference um, compared to the to the home visits. You know, is it actually working as our people's health? Is people's health improving as a result of the um, the expanded intervention? So when we're evaluating this um, mostly using what's called a retrospective matched cohort study. So that's basically where we're assessing the health data um, in relation to three different cohorts of people. So we've got the intervention cohort, so that's the people who are actually receiving the home visits. We've got the kind of original cohort of people who are receiving the telephone service. And then we've got something called a matched cohort, which is essentially a group of people from the same sort of area who have the same sort of demographics as the people in, in the intervention cohort. So like the same sort of age ranges and the same sort of um, gender splits and ethnicities and that sort of thing. Um, so we're also complementing that methodology using a couple of other um, methods, such as a patient reported outcome measure survey, which is basically where clients are asked um, about how they find their health to be um, in a self-reported survey. And also we're getting some qualitative data from um, the home energy advisors themselves. Um, so again, that kind of helps provide a bit of context um, to the um, to the evaluation, a bit of kind of that sort of richer knowledge around kind of what these people are experiencing. Um, so it's a two year study, so over three financial years. So we're about a year and a half into it now. And um, we've had some real challenges, particularly around actually accessing the data we need um, to do with needing to um, match the NHS number with the client data and actually accessing that NHS number has been really challenging. But we've, we've got there now, although it's pushed our timescales back a little bit. Um, so the final evaluation report is due this October. Um, so we're hoping to have some some really useful insights from from the data that we've collected to, to inform that report. And then we're also potentially hoping to get that report published as well. Um, Oxfordshire County Council are really keen that we do that. Um, so that's really exciting as well. Uh, so I hope that's been interesting. Um, thanks for listening.